What's up, everybody? It's another one, me, Canary Balance, man. Today, we're going to be doing Billboard's top 50 rappers of all time. I've seen it, and you know I had to give my breakdown on it. So let's get into it. I don't usually drink on stream, but I am today. Kids, don't drink. It's addictive. All right, so we starting off with disrespect. I already read this whole list, and there's no way that Rick Ross is number 50. So at 49, we got Rev Run, 48, Melly Mel, old school rapper that a lot of the rappers from the 2000s used to like. MC Light at 47, 46, major disrespect with Jadakiss. Jadakiss de definitely doesn't belong at the bottom of this list. 45, Ice T, 44, Queen Latifah, 43, Bun B, 42, Redman, disrespectful. 41, E40, 40, Dr. Dre. Now the thing with Dr. Dre, this is supposed to be like the greatest rappers, right? And Dre is very talented, he's a very talented producer, but I wouldn't say that he's over you know, any other rappers that were writing for themselves. Because he had people writing for him. 39, Ludacris. Disrespectful. 38, Gucci Man. 37, Common. 36, Most Def. 35, Future. 34, Chuck D. 33, Bustin' Rhymes. 32, T.I. Disrespectful. 31, Lil' Kim. 30, Lauren Hill. 29, Pusha T, disrespectful. 28, Black Thought, disrespectful. 27, Q-Tip, disrespectful. 26, Big Pun, disrespectful. We got 25 with Method Man. 24, Karis Swan. 23, Curtis Blow. 22, Ghostface Killer. 21, DMX, major disrespect. 20, Big Daddy Kane. 19, Missy Elliott, major disrespect. 18, Ice Cube. 17, 50 Cent. 16, Scarface. 15, J. Cole, major disrespect. 14, LL. 13 was Rakim. 12 was Andre 3000, major disrespect. 11 was Kanye, major disrespect. All right, so we're going to go into the top 10 and we're going to break this down even more so number 10 was Nicki Minaj I feel like uh, they just wanted to throw a girl in there because she's the only woman in the top 10 and really they could have put Missy in the top 10 Nicki's very very talented don't get me wrong I love her a lot he's definitely one of the best rappers that have that came out in the 2010s but we're talking about greatest of all time. Missy Elliott definitely dusted her. Um, nine, Snoop Dogg. That one was interesting to me. Because I never thought of Snoop really being in the top ten of rappers. But when I think about his catalog, he's someone that I really, really love a lot. Like all his music from um, Last Mill to Snoop Lion. Stuff like that. Those are some of my favorite albums from him. So, that's cool. Eight was Drake. And I can't really argue with that. You know, Drake's definitely talented. We all love Drake. And, you know, Drake's the GOAT right now. Of this era right now. Seven with Lil Wayne. You know, I can't argue with that. You know, Wayne's definitely in the top ten. One of the best lyricists that we ever had. And, you know, that was a pretty... That's a pretty solid choice and a solid number to be in the top 10. Number six was Biggie, B.I.G., King of Brooklyn. Um, yeah, Biggie's definitely one of the hottest rappers that's ever came out. We all know who he is. We all know what he's done. So no problem with that. All right, so I have an unpopular opinion Number five was Eminem. So, a lot of people, they definitely love M. M is like definitely one of the most lyrical rappers ever to come out, right? But it's just 
for me personally, subject matter wise, he has a lot of music that I really can't go back to. Like when I hear it today, it just don't sound right. It don't come off right. It's not something that I care about or support now being grown. It was funny as hell when I was 12 years old listening to him for the first time. But like me as an adult listening to some of his older music, I just don't feel it like that. Then, you know, I know he's came out with new albums in the past few years. He was working with uh, Royce of 5'9 and Joe Button and Joel's Ortiz and Crooked Eye and all of them. And I definitely love those songs, but for me, Eminem just, I don't even know if I would put him in my top 20, guys. Um, Number four, Tupac. Definitely love Tupac. He definitely belongs in the top five. He's in my top five, so I have no problems with that. Number three was Nas. Again, Nas was a... Uh, one of the best, he's probably the most well put together rapper we've ever had. Like lyrically, everything he says and does is so perfect on beats. When he has the right beats, he always like has the right flows. He says the right things. He makes you think a lot. So that's one of the things I love about Nas. For me personally, he's in my top two. Now we have uh, Kendrick Lamar, number two. And you know, Kendrick is dope. My problem with him is that he's super duper inconsistent. Like dropping an album every five years, that that's kind of that really ain't it. You know, every half a decade, we can expect something from you. You know, with my favorite artists, I kind of want to hear them at least like every two years. That's how they used to do it back in the day. But like this whole, you know, I'm gonna drop like a thousand mixtapes a week, or you're just gonna hear from me like once a decade thing. That really ain't it. And I would have switched Kendrick with J. Cole. J. Cole could definitely be in the top five. More so top ten. And of course, number one would have been my pick too. God and MC, Jay-Z. I didn't like it online that I seen people out here kind of like a dog and Jay saying that, you know, he doesn't belong to as the number one rapper of all time. Cause then my question is, okay, who is better than him? Who has done, who started off where he started off at and ended up a billionaire like he did? There's nobody else out there. It was just him. So how can you say that he's not the greatest rapper? He went from rapper to like straight, like first class businessman. And it's just like, it was just crazy to me to see people like dog him out like that. That made me feel pretty bad. Um, and if you don't think Jay Z is like one of the best rappers, my advice to you is go listen to the Blueprint. You know, a lot of y'all have gotten away from what real rap lyrics sound like, what a real rap song sounds like, and y'all have gotten used to this whole uh, kind of like mumbly auto tune sound. As you forget that you know rap used to have a real more a more soulful sound back in the day. You know, it was closer to, it had a better rhythm, you know, it had better flows, had better subjects. You know, they weren't just talking about anything and everything that has to do with either sex, drugs, and pistols. They actually had things to talk about and things that was going on. They opened your mind to the environment, kind of. But yeah, Jay-Z would have been my pick for the number one, number one rapper. I really want to know who made this list, though. Like... That's the one thing that I was like thinking about. I know uh, there was one big hater to this whole list. You know, Ja Rule said that he was mad he wasn't in the top 50. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't think that Ja Rule's in anybody's top 50 of greatest rappers, man. I don't know what number he falls at, but all I know is he probably falls somewhere in between like Soldier Boy and Jaquan. It goes like Soldier Boy, Ja Rule, Jaquan. <laughs> anyway, guys, go down to the comments. Let me know what y'all thought of this list. Um, more so, I'm more interested to see which one of y'all think that Jay-Z doesn't belong as number one. And who would you put in his spot? Other than that, guys, yeah, that's another one me. I'm Canary Balance. And peace.